Yo, 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 what's the deal, YouTube? So today we got America's favorite bounty hunter. The infamous dog, the bounty hunter, on where he thinks Brian Laundry is. As you can see, I did like two videos regarding Gabby Petito on my page. And it's been a couple days since I did a video. If they already have a lot of media covering, I'll try to do as much as I can. But it's been a couple days, so I want to get right back into it. And it's a lot of information and things that I got to catch up on. And what's better than to go ahead and start with Dog the Bounty Hunter, Parents right? feel like, okay? And you want justification. You want the guy behind bars. All of it's alleged that he even committed the murder. But uh, circumstantially, it looks like he did. You know, the strongest lead I see is that one of her friends said he had been in the Appalachian Mountains by himself for a couple months. Now, he's not just a camper then. He is a outdoorsman a so in order to do that i think because of his age he felt comfortable if there's anywhere right now that looks the hottest that could be the area it all depends on the picture they got of him the other day where they're hunting now if really that was him no one has said that if not appalachian mountains is the best but it covers several states so where did he go in at that's where you start your tracking point from right when he went into the mountain with dogs. Well, yeah, they've got so much infrared. I mean, they're gonna catch him. You know, I, the only reason I, I would doubt if he's in the swamp is they've been hunting it really good, okay? And I'm not sure that was him in the picture. You know, they... All right, you guys, that's one thing that's kind of hard to understand because we are in America. And they have so much technology, like with the military and everything, like, let that be a enemy or something within the states, you know, real quick. Though. But yeah, like he said, man, I'm pretty sure they're gonna find that dude about how I feel right now. I think he might be in a suicidal mind state and just pretty much, you know, know he's, he didn't effed up, you know what I mean? And just trying to live the best life that he can before it's over, because it's already over, whether if he commits suicide, he dies or something, or get incarcerated. What he is facing right now, is not good and we all know that just looking like he killed this woman acting like he killed this woman now you running in the mountains so i'm pretty sure that he killed gabby oh and then at the same time he just might be trying to thug it out in the mountains as long as possible until he gets caught pretty sure he, he knows what he's doing if he just headed into the mountains he's just probably just seeing how long he could be like gone kind of an old bank robbery picture right but you couldn't really tell if that was him. Now, if that was him 100%, he's in the swamp, okay? And then, so they tr he, he moves in the, in the night and he probably sleeps up in the day. Now, the FBI has ultraviolet light tracking. Remember the Boston bomber? How they found the kid in the boat when they went over and the tarp was over him? They've got that. So I'm sure they're using that to cover with drones. I mean, he can't cover with mud. It's not Arnold Schwarzenegger. He <laughs> can't cover with anything. He's going to light up. You know, I don't think he went to New York or uh, there's been a couple rumors he might have might have went to Mexico. I've been in Mexico. So if he's down there wanted a white boy that doesn't know Spanish, the cartel's going to grab him for the reward. So oh, no, wow. he's not down there. That's crazy. You know, I don't think. Who knows? I've had to eat my words uh, before. <laughs> Sounds like when they got into arguments, she screamed a lot. Now, if he's out in that tent, your voice will go, what, two miles? And she's screaming. What if he put his hand over her mouth to shut her up and killed her? Or did he do it worse? It all depends. The autopsy report is out, I believe, how she died, okay? That's going to be your murder... Uh, death penalty sentence so how do you say it could have been an accident you know the guy that uh killed my daughter in an act in a car wreck accident right? i don't think it was an accident man how do you it's, it's already determined that it was domestic violence involved so they had some physical altercations as he just bammed her in the head or something like that and she fell down hit her head on a rock like accident like that but it's still he hit the woman that's what people got to understand when you hit people you could take their life you know it could be something wrong with somebody's brain you know they could have a tumor or something that they didn't know about or you could just simply hit them in the temple and kill them but you did not mean to kill them 
Now, in this case, I'm not saying that's what happened with Gabby and Brian, but I'm just talking in general. Man, I don't know. I think if he did it on accident, he's probably not man enough to turn himself in and just say that, hey, man, you know, this will happen and it was an accident. That would probably be the best thing to do in the long run, you know, because you're still going to get charged, but it, it, it could have been possibly a manslaughter if it was an accident. And then you have to prove it's an accident. And, you know, it's a whole process behind it, including getting incarcerated and charged with murder or manslaughter or getting it down to the man's The reason I went to Mr. Mr. Landry is because I carry <laughs> My boy a reputation dog went to his house. He is not playing with See, that every man. night on Pluto TV. Bring that ass. You the reputation please. is he gives you a second chance. He going to get you, but he gives you a second chance. He going to get you. So I thought, uh, we well, all know dad's dog gonna, don't play. He going to see me you and crack. And <laughs> I know the kid knows me. Probably one of my fans. So... I thought the dad would answer and talk. But I was very persistent without disturbing the peace and knocked a few times so they saw it was me. In a professional manner. And I didn't manner. play nasty and put a copy of the warrant on their front door, none of that. I was very respectful. And the dad can still reach out to me through social media. Let's get the kid well, captured alive. Alive. My, we're, so the next step that I have is to now we work off leads, okay? We don't have a crystal ball where we can say, oh, there's where he's at. Well, now we work off leads. Somebody knows something. Oh, God. Somebody else knows where he's at. You guys already know, same situation with the boys. That's part of help spread awareness is somebody knows something. If you know something, you're not saying nothing in these type of cases. I don't care what if you think you're a snitch or whatever. Is family members that's out there hurting somebody has been murdered so you're somewhat in the wrong too it might not be a crime i think sometimes it could be a crime well just depending if it's got something to do with the murder but if you just know where some i don't know maybe harbored in the fugitive they could pretty much do whatever they want to do man but the whole point is you know something say something like i said same thing with the boys if you know something say something where they dropped him off at or did they drop him off that person is going to call us because again we're not the police this is anonymous we don't have to tell we are willing to but go you to are going to tell dog. extreme measures to find him whether it's in mexico i've got connections there or anywhere i My think boy, again that be. he's young enough not an experienced criminal but what is his greatest experience okay outdoorsman yeah. That's what he does the best. I don't think he can shoplift and live in the city and be <laughs> on the run and, you know, sleep in cheap hotels. I think that he is what's in his blood. He's in them hills. On exactly. a one to ten, he's probably a six compared to the outdoors men and some well, of the guys well. that I've captured. <laughs> okay, those two New York guys, the one that killed the other guy was... We was 10 minutes behind him. That's good stuff. So not, this guy's not experienced like that. We get a scent of a trail. We get a scent he's done. Hey, I'm not even going to cap you guys. I thought that uh, was a picture in the background. I thought it was like a green screen. Doesn't look like too real. Then I just seen a little vehicle drive by. Trees and dig a cave and all that. He's got a small tent, maybe a knife, because he's got to stay out in the open. Hope parents didn't give him anything else to protect himself how's he eating got to kill the game so you know just don't walk Crazy up life, on him and man. say hey you're wanted freeze so let's talk about this in the comment section um what do you guys think we all know this man is pretty much on a run headed for the mountains he's a survivalist an outdoorist so this is something pretty much natural what he's doing i don't think he could run that long because of the type of technology that you know these government people have these law enforcement have you know, once they really get in tune to where he's at you know they're gonna find this man but how long that is gonna take and how long can he run uh i guess you could say you never know you never know but um 
Let's just hope and just pray for the best, man. So all I can pretty much say on both ends for both families and let's pray that this man does not commit suicide and comes forth or he is caught so they can bring justice for Gabby and figure out what's going on. Then maybe he could get some type of help or, you know, repent or whatever the case may be. Like Dog said, a second chance. I don't see how you would get too much of a second chance after murder. It's possible. You know, people did it before in life, so you never know. Every case is different. Where the boys, where the boys, you already know the deal. But yeah, you got the magnet to the boys. You know, go ahead and put this on my vehicle tomorrow to help spread more awareness. Have you seen us? Right here. Two missing boys out of California City, California. Reported missing December 21st, 2020 by their adoptive deadbeats, Trezell and Jacqueline West. Where the boys, y'all?